Welcome guys, today in this video we're gonna discuss about newly released anime film Suzume no Tajimari, written and directed by the legendary Makoto Shinkai. I saw it in the theaters today and it was a decent experience, I'm gonna review it by talking about its four major things, which are, story, characters, music and direction. So let's start today's video. Story, talking about the story of the film then, it was alright. It was neither too great nor too bad, it was good, good enough to impress you, good enough to make you sad, happy and laugh, and the reason I said not too great, is because of the standard set by Makoto Shinkai after your name, as he had made something so extraordinary, you would definitely expect something like that from him every time, but Susum in the story category is a little weak as rarely something unique used to happen in the movie. Like the film's plot is that, there's a giant creature named Worm, which comes from another realm to destroy Earth, from any random door which is in an abandoned area, and Soda Munakara who belongs to clan called Closer, stops the worms every time, and that's exactly what happens in the film every time, they travel, have fun and all of a sudden as the worm appears, they shut it down, just the last two fights were really praiseworthy, but the others just felt a lot repetitive. The first half of the film was mostly billed for the second half with very less interesting scenes, mostly just comedy scenes, but the second half delivers good with some impactful dialogues, which may feel you a little emotional, and not to mention its animation, it was fantastic and very realistic at some points. Characters, the story might have been not that impressive, but the characters were brilliantly written, whether be it the protagonist Suzume, or the side characters like, Soda Munakata, Daijin, Sarazawa. Every character was beautifully written, and had an important role in the story, for example, Sarazawa drove Suzume to her old home which was destroyed years ago in the tsunami, but just 20 kilometers away, it had an accident, then her aunt Tamaki, in a bicycle drove her to the destination, paddling for 20 kilometers, so the side characters might not have a huge role but however much it was, it was important, and all the characters made the movie a lot more emotionally profounding, and my favorite character was definitely Suzume, she was very sweet, kind-hearted and fun-loving person, although it is like any other Japanese women but still she was my favorite. Music, if I talk about the music then, it was the best part of the movie, and it was clear to me when I saw the trailer and heard the soundtrack, and for each and every scene, the music which plays in the background is simply outstanding, which even gave me goosebumps sometimes, especially in the climax the music plays was quite emotional as well, special appreciation for Radwimps for composing such a beautiful music, it was the heart of the film. Direction, so I don't really think so that I need to talk about the direction part, because all know who it is behind this amazing project, the sensei himself, Makoto Shinkai, the direction of the film was brilliant, each and every frame, scene, and the entire story is executed brilliantly by Makoto Shinkai, and he's also the storyboard artist, so kudos to him for drawing such beautiful characters, and not to forget the animation which was astonishing, and even a lot realistic at some points. And even the color grading was screaming beautiful. So overall, Suzume no Tajimari is very good film, which should be experienced by everyone in the theaters, the animation, visuals, music and emotional moments of the film will definitely impress you, and there's one more thing I would like to share that, this is the first time in my life, I saw the cat being chased by a chair with three legs, I just never expected in my life that I would see something like this in a film, so, based on how much I've liked the film, I'll give it 8 out of 10. So that's it for today's video everyone, I hope you've enjoyed it, as of now I'll meet you in my next video, till then goodbye.